Welcome to Freeing Ourselves, a ritual of self-forgiveness. In that deep place in our hearts, can we forgive those places where we have harbored guilt, given it a safe haven, and continued with our own self-uncaringness? One by one, as we let go of the stories that we carry about ourselves, we can let go of guilt, blame, and unforgiveness. This workshop is a place to release whatever needs to be released as we unburden our hearts and set ourselves free. So in talking about blame, guilt, and forgiveness, sometimes it's easier to forgive others than to forgive ourselves. As Dolores Huerta says, the energy of forgiveness always comes before change. And so it's like letting ourselves off the hook. It takes a lot of energy to hold in that place of feeling unworthiness, of feeling unworthy of the gifts that life can bring us. And so that holding in of all of that unforgiveness, guilt, and blame takes a lot of energy to hold it in. And so that's energy that we don't have at our disposal to use in our day-to-day -day life to magnetize the type of life we would like to have, perhaps. And sometimes it can be labeled as depression because our physical energy and drive is depressed to hold all that stuff inside. And once we begin to open to it and look at it and let things emerge, then we are able to have more of that energy available to us so that we can magnetize to us the type of life that we'd like to live and the type of people we'd like to interact with. I have this feeling that we do the best we can at any given moment, and so is everyone else around us doing the same thing. We don't deliberately set ourselves up for failure not consciously, oh, I'm going to make this decision and set in motion a month of misery. We don't do that to ourselves. We make the best decision we can make at any given moment, given the circumstances and the tools at our disposal and our uh, ability to see what's needed. And so given that, and not doing something deliberate to sabotage ourselves. We can really let ourselves off the hook of this lack of self-forgiveness or guilt and blame because we did the best we could in the moment, even if later down the road we see it as a mistake or I could have done better or how come I didn't know this or how come I didn't see that. There's always all of that, you know, that's why, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. But in the moment, we have at our disposal our own insights, our own ability to see, sometimes not everything, but what we can see, it might be limited, but it's what we have to work with. And these are the tools at our disposal. And we need to learn self-kindness. We need to learn how to be as kind to ourselves as we might be to another person in a similar situation. And so if we are created out of love, out of a desire for evolution, then we must acknowledge that as a creator treats us, we must treat ourselves. And our own self-love is very, very important, especially in these times of the world. That in order for us to grow in consciousness as a race of humanity, we must learn to forgive ourselves and love ourselves so that as 
a mass of humanity, we can rise together to the next level of consciousness. So I'd like you to take a few minutes to journal your feelings and observations about self-forgiveness and where you might need to look at this. What gets in your way? Alternately, what's telling you it's time? So I'm going to rattle for a few minutes just to kind of um, hold the space for you while you journal. If you need more time from when I've stopped rattling, just pause the recording and give yourself the time that you need. So take a moment and just be with yourself and look at what's up inside of you, what comes up inside of you when you think about forgiving yourself or letting yourself off a hook that you have inadvertently put yourself on and it's time to take yourself down from that hook. time to begin the ritual itself. So I'm assuming that your candle on your altar is lit and that you have um, the pieces that you need for this ritual, a small stone, a small bowl of salt water. Um, so I'd like you to um, take a few minutes and call in your guardian spirits. We all have guardian spirits, those who love and protect us and work for our evolution, our uh, awareness. Um, it's their job to help us grow and be our protectors in a sense. And so whether it's in the shamanic tradition, having an animal spirit, whether it's a, a grandmother spirit in your own lineage, or one of the grandmothers, uh, a protective spirit that uh, helps um, people, whether it's from the upper world and it's uh, the angels or a, an ascended master, whether it's a master teacher. We all have guardian spirits who help us. And so it's a time of just calling them in just ask them to come and bless you and be with you while you do this piece of your own personal work. So now I want you to pick up your stone and to sit with it. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel the texture of it in your hand. I want you to have a sense of um, 
that that this in a sense is a being this stone person who is willing to take what you are going to give it and hold it until it's time to be released so it's time to think about what you are letting go of what the self-forgiveness is about what the self-blame and guilt has been about and i want you to just take a nice deep cleansing breath letting go of fears or worries and then i want you to blow into the stone putting the stone to your lips and blow into the stone what you are letting go of where you have felt guilty about some things where you have felt that you couldn't up until this point forgive yourself and so blow that energy into the stone whether it's one huge breath whether it's several short breaths whether it's several breaths that represent each one represents something else that you're letting go of however it works for you but you are willingly letting go of these places that have limited your growth up until now and you're willing to take this next step of releasing these things one by one we let go of those stories about ourselves that we have carried that have identified us and now it's time to place the stone into the bowl of salt water releasing what we've blown into that stone the salt water will cleanse the stone because the energy itself is neutral we just have thoughts around that energy that make it be something personal to us but what this stone has absorbed from you is your personal story but as it's placed in the salt water it's just an kind of like a neutral energy release we clear ourselves of our past and open to a new life and a new future so take time now to write to draw to move your body you have freed yourself and are now open to what's ahead of you what your future has in store for you you have created space in yourself for something new to come in you have released this energy that it's no longer yours it's no longer time to carry forward into this next time frame and you are open to new ideas new experiences and released from this burden that you've carried up until now so take some time and just be with yourself and in whatever way it is for you to record this as i said through writing through drawing through just physical movement dance stretching whatever it happens to be for you to bring your body along to bring your body into the experience and into this opening to future possibilities I wish you well.